How you guys doing? Thank you for joining me here on SB252. So the Wisconsin Badgers just fell short to Ohio State Buckeyes 27-21. to Now what a game it was, but it did not start out that way. As JT Barrett, fresh off of surgery just a couple days ago, had him, his meniscus, I believe just part of his meniscus removed in his knee. So just a couple days ago had surgery, but came out right away, was firing bombs, threw an 84-yard touchdown to McLaurin, then came back through a 57-yard touchdown. So this game is really the game of big plays from Ohio State in the early going of this venue. But Wisconsin was down 21-7. They said, hey, we got to settle down, figure some things out, can't allow all these big plays and they did. They they settled down and offensively did not play good tonight, but was able to get corral and get a couple field goals to cut the lead 21 to 13. Then they got a touchdown. So they were able to cut the lead to three. So all of a sudden it was a ball game and the game was canceled. Well, not canceled. It was delayed in the fourth quarter, as a lot of you guys probably saw, because they were going so hard at it at the touchdown, they actually ripped up part of the turf. Then they came back out, got the two-point conversion. It was a three-point game. And I know Nick Saban, wherever you are, if you're out there, I mean, I ought to call you up right now and tell you, listen, you can calm down and you can go to bed because Wisconsin lost. But it was close at the end. They couldn't convert that fourth and 20 at the end of the game. But let me just say something about their quarterback, Hornybrook. Not, he, not a good game. 19 for 40 today. Two interceptions, no touchdowns. The left-handed thrower thrower had need, needs a lot of work. He needs a lot of work. But JT Barrett came through again for him. But just like he's done all year in his whole career, he made mistakes. He threw that pick six, a real, real bad pick six early in the game. That was ugly to watch. <laughs> I don't even like talking about it because it was real bad. But remember, Wisconsin, not the first time they've lost to Ohio State in a Big Ten championship game, just the other year, they lost 59 to nothing. Now, that was a completely different squad from then. Obviously, they had a different head coach at the time. Paul Christ wasn't coaching the team then. But still, still, Wisconsin not cannot be pleased to losing to a house again in a game like this. So now the committee has to make a decision. Is it going to be Ohio State that they choose? Or is it going to be Alabama? Ohio State has beaten three ranked teams this year. Now it should be four because they just beat Wisconsin. Alabama has beaten three ranked teams this year. But Alabama's strength of schedule was not as good as Ohio State's. And Ohio State is now actually a champion of a conference now. So that'll be interesting to see which team they choose. And if they put in Alabama, they will be the worst, the team with the worst, with the easiest schedule to go on the college football playoffs that they've actually put in so far. So let's see if they choose to put in Alabama. They definitely have made it the most possible to try to squeeze in Alabama. They want to put in Alabama, and they probably will, I think. I think they're just going to put in Alabama. So we know Clemson's one. They're number one for sure. Then probably either Georgia or Oklahoma will be two and three, and then either Alabama or... Ohio State will be four. We'll see, but it's getting good, and what a good championship weekend. Kind of disappointed me a little bit, but that last game was good. Thank you guys for watching SB252. Talk to you guys later.